All right, let's plug in. You don't want to connect your components to the electricity while you're hooking up your equipment. Wait until you're done or you could damage your equipment. <laughs> or yourself. <laughs> We've talked about the different kinds of power centers and compact power conditioners. Now we're going to show you how to plug in your system. Believe it or not, you should hook it up correctly to really be sure you're protected. Remember, surges can not only come from the electricity, but from telephone lines and your satellite cable. Now, this is pretty colorful. It even tells you where to put everything. DVD, VCR, TV, high-powered amp. But does it really make a difference if you match the TV to the TV outlet or the DVD player to the DVD outlet? It does make a difference. You need to plug in the TV to the outlet labeled TV, and your AV receiver needs to be plugged into a receiver or main amp outlet. Receivers require maximum continuous current to power the amp and give you good, clean sound. You should hook it up the way it's labeled. There are different filters for these different outlets. This is where the phone line from the satellite feed connects, and then I'll connect it to the satellite receiver. And don't worry, I'm not going to forget to plug in the subwoofer to the power center. I even use the color-coded labels to make it easy if I ever need to disconnect any of the components. One last thing. It's time to test, set up, and control our system. I'm feeling powerful. <laughs>